Do you guys think Borthwick's not the right guy for it? I just think I just think he was kind of Eddie's understudy. He, he kind of uh, learned through Eddie, so it'd be a bit of the same. Same. I think again, he's an um, obviously an unbelievable ta- tactician and technically and tactically knows his stuff. And from my experience of him and and um, from you know hearing from the guys at Leicester, you know his detail and and things like that. I mean, his intensity is is is, is amazing. Um, but I just think, like Jim's saying, I don't know if he's the right man for now and what they need. They need more than just on the grass stuff, unless you bring someone in sitting above him. Um, but then will Steve want that when he's, you know, he's done that with Eddie and he's, you know, the main man at Leicester. And, you know, where does that leave Connor in his role? You need because... someone, as, as you like you saying, Brownie, not just the rugby, which is so important. People think, right, what are they talking about? You're stupid. We need, we, England need someone that can engage the media and the people as well. Do you know what I mean? And that's why you're talking about Razor. That's why I'm talking about Razor because it's more than just on the pitch. And with all due respect to Steve, I've got a huge amount of respect for him. He's not that engaging in terms of the media and in terms of the masses, the people that are paying ridiculous amounts of money to watch England play. But no one really is as engaging as Robertson, are they? Well, there you go. If you look at someone like Gareth Southgate, he is not Razor by any stretch of imagination, but he's engaged. No. He's engaged the English public. He's got them on board, which bide him a bit of time recently when he was going through a bit of a sticky patch. You know, he's clearly creating an environment there where those guys love playing for England. And we know plenty of English football teams that have had all the talent, you know, like the Rio Ferdinand, Lampard, Gerrard era, but couldn't do it, you know, for an English shirt because, you know, and they all talk about, you know, the cliques and the environment. Gareth Southgate's in whatever he's done has clearly created an environment where they love playing for England. They can go out and express themselves, you know, within their framework, um, be individuals, but also buy buying into, you know, what it means to be in that, you know, English team culture and environment and all pulling in the right direction. All love seem to love each other as mates, which is amazing to see on and off the field. Um, but yeah, like you said, has, has got the public and, and everyone buying into what they're about as well, which also buys you a bit of time when you go through a sticky patch but also is is very powerful when you get to some tournaments like they're in now, as you could see with South African team, how powerful that was with everything they had pushing them forward in that last World Cup. There you go. Let's get Razzy. If it's not Scott Robertson, let's get Razzy Razzy. That's what you just said. I'd love him. Pod, 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 pod. Rugby pod.